A powerful new chapter in Royal Air Force pilot preparation is beginning to take shape as BAE Systems, Boeing, and Saab align to introduce the T-7A Red Hawk as the United Kingdom's next advanced jet training solution. Their joint plan goes far beyond delivering an aircraft, it envisions a fully integrated training ecosystem built around modern simulation, digital connectivity, and seamless compatibility with the operational demands of future British air power. The companies have signed a letter of intent to propose the US-developed T-7A Red Hawk as the replacement for the RAF's long-serving Hawk trainers. This step follows the UK Strategic Defence Review, which formally identified the need to transition to a next-generation training architecture. The concept emphasizes preparing pilots to operate 4th-, 5th-, and eventually 6th-generation aircraft, including those emerging from the UK-Japan Early Global Combat Air Program GCAP. At the industrial level, BAE Systems would take responsibility for final assembly inside the United Kingdom, creating a domestic production line supported by British suppliers. This would preserve critical engineering expertise, reinforce sovereign aerospace capacity, and create new opportunities for exports and international training partnerships. The collaboration also builds on pre-existing UK-Sweden technological ties and leverages Boeing's experience as the lead developer of the T-7A for the United States Air Force. The Red Hawk itself represents a new generation of trainer aircraft. Designed from inception as part of an integrated system, the two-seat jet is powered by the F-404 afterburning turbofan, delivering more thrust and maneuverability than legacy trainers such as the T-38. Its high-performance envelope, approaching Mach 1, sustaining heavy G-loads, and handling aggressive angles of attack, allows pilots to rehearse close combat and interception profiles typical of modern fighters. The cockpit mirrors the layout and digital environment of Typhoon and F-35 platforms, easing the transition into operational squadrons. Yet the true strategic value lies in the training architecture built around the aircraft. Central to the proposal is a high-fidelity ground-based training system, combining immersive simulators, mission rehearsal tools, and live virtual constructive technology. This networked environment links pilots in the air, crews in simulators, and AI-generated virtual entities into one shared battle space. Through software-driven upgrades, instructors can introduce new threats, sensors, weapon effects, or fifth-generation tactics without requiring hardware changes. Such flexibility allows the RAF to prepare crews for evolving combat conditions, from electronic attack to complex joint operations, while reducing wear on expensive frontline aircraft. Embedded simulation within the jet enables radar threats, weapons behavior, and electronic warfare to be reproduced without external pods. Combined with ground-based links, the system supports multi-aircraft scenarios ranging from air-to-air -air dogfights to strike missions in EMCAN environments, complete with real-time data link and common operational picture management. Even manned-unmanned -man teaming with mail drones can be integrated at the training stage. The proposed system enters an increasingly competitive global market, where platforms like the M346, T-50 Golden Eagle, and Turkey as Herget already hold strong positions. The UK is also exploring more modular concepts through the domestic Aralis program. Nonetheless, the Red Hawk package offers a compelling balance, American-Swedish technology, British industrial integration, and NATO-aligned interoperability. If selected, it would anchor the United Kingdom inside a broader ecosystem of next-generation training solutions aligned with future air combat networks. It would also help export British-led training services to regions such as the Middle East and Asia, where demand for advanced pilot development is rising alongside modern fighter acquisitions. With the RAF preparing to enter a new era defined by GCAP, unmanned teaming, and data-driven air combat, the T-7A-based system represents more than a trainer, it is the foundation for how the next generation of British pilots will learn, fight, and adapt.